The origin of the Hmong people is unknown. However, one scholar believed that they originated in the Mesopotamia region and gradually migrated to the Hebei province in northern China. Many scholars believe that over 5,000 years ago, the Hmong were living in China with the Han Chinese. Around 2700 BC, they were governed by the legendary warrior Chief Qi Yu. Qi Yu is the Chinese pronunciation. The Hmong pronunciation really means Zi Yu. Zi means father. Yu is grandfather. There was three groups and the Hmong were one group and the other two groups um, end up being the Han, modern day uh, Han Chinese today. And there was a big battle and, and the two groups combined forces and fought in the and, and CEO's group lost. Chi Yu was captured in 2704 BC and was executed. His body was cut into three pieces, which were then buried into three separate mounds, so that the Hmong people will never be reunited. One thousand years after the death of Chi Yu, the Hmong formed another kingdom called San Miao, which means three Hmong. Once again, the Han Chinese invaded and the Hmong were defeated and nearly exterminated. The Hmong then dispersed. Most migrated southward into the lower reaches of the Yellow River and as far as Yunnan province. Between 704 and 223 BC, the great Hmong kingdom of Chu existed in Yunnan. After a war that lasted 200 years, this great kingdom fell to Chinese rule. All known Hmong books were burned, and those who dared use the Hmong language were punished by death. Hmong of those days are said to have had blonde hair and blue eyes, which was how they were easily identified and killed. Hmong history was preserved onto pictorial quilts known as pandao. In 1615 AD, the Chinese began building a hundred mile long Great Wall in the west of Hunan to block out Hmong rebellion from Baoqing to Tongren. It was known as the Southern Great Wall. Not willing to subject to Chinese rule, many of the Hmong migrated south to Vietnam, Laos, Thailand and Burma, searching for a new life of peace. Hmong means free people, according to Dr. Yang Dao, but before the Vietnam War, Hmong were known as Mao or Miao. The term Miao means barbarians, in other cases, sons of the soil. During the Vietnam War, the United States Central Intelligence Agency recruited the Hmong to fight against the impending communist army. The Hmong were trained in guerrilla warfare and were led by Major General Van Pao. Their main objectives were to first block the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which was the main supply route for the North Vietnamese, and engage the communist armies. Secondly, to rescue American pilots who had been shot down and third, to defend the radar stations such as Pupati. In May of 1975, following the collapse of Vietnam and Cambodia, the North Vietnamese Army, allied with the Patet Lao, overthrew the existing government of Laos. Major General Vang Pao and many of his staff were flown to safety, but the rest of the Hmong were left to fend for themselves. Most of them were still on the battlefield. When somebody is trying to, uh, uh, to chase you out from your land or to invade your country, even when you, it's, your, it's necessary for you to fight to the last man,
The Hmong were then targeted by the Patet Lao for genocide, extermination to the root. Many were killed or forced into labor camps for re-education, never to be seen again. Others took to the mountains where they continued to fight. However, the North Vietnamese army bombed and gassed the Hmong from the air. Many of the Hmong people then attempted the difficult journey to seek refuge in Thailand. They traveled under the cover of darkness, bringing only with them the clothes on their backs. The Hmong lucky enough to make it to Thailand were put into refugee camps until resettlement to third countries. Today, the Hmong are more dispersed than ever. Many have settled in the United States, Australia, Europe, and South America, where they continue to preserve their culture, language, and customs. We were this group of people who have always been displaced from place to place. And now we're in this country, and this is probably the first time in our history where we have the greatest opportunity to have equality uh, like everyone else.